everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. So I've been talking about doing a hike on the JNT for the past 18, 19 months. Um, finally, I'm about two weeks away, uh, actually less than two weeks away from uh, actually heading out that way. I just mailed off uh, a food supply bucket to MTR um, yesterday. So things are finally starting to feel real. Uh, it's crazy, um, you know, after planning for so long, uh, the time is finally pretty much here. I just got uh, two more weeks at work and, and then I'm on my way. So anyway, um, since I've been, you know, planning this thing for so long, I have put some videos and stuff out in the past uh, talking about different systems and stuff as far as some of the gear and stuff that I plan on carrying as well as um, permits and stuff like that. Um, I haven't done any in a while, but now that it's getting close, I've already mailed out my uh, one of my food supply buckets. Um, I've pretty much got everything nailed down as far as what I'm going to bring. I wanted to go ahead and do another video and uh, show you exactly what I have and uh, just kind of show you my final selection. Some things have changed, some very minor things have changed from some of the previous videos and stuff I did, but, but not that many. Um, probably the most notable change and the, and the biggest upset for me is my son won't be able to join me. Um, he's 16 years old, he got him a job now, and he doesn't want to quit. So unfortunately, uh, it's just going to be me and my buddy Benny that's going to be doing the hike. Not that that's unfortunate, I'm excited to be able to go hike with Benny, but I was really counting on my son going. Uh, unfortunately though, he's not going to be able to make it. So anyway, in this video, I just want to, like I said, talk about um, or show you what I'm carrying and what I'm wearing. I'm going to try to make this a little bit quick. I will say that at the bottom of this video, I'll put a link to my Google Doc spreadsheet and all of the stuff that I'm going to show you uh, will be uh, listed in that spreadsheet as well as um, a lot of it is actually a hyperlink. So you can actually take the hyperlink back to the uh, the actual manufacturer's website. Some items are linked to an Amazon, um, to the Amazon website, and those items uh, are an affiliate link through me. So if you click on those and actually use those, um, I may make a little bit of money from that. So I appreciate any kind of support from that. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna get on with it. Um, one thing that you won't see is the actual setup that I'm using to film this video. Uh, it's my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, I have a Magpul case on it, and then of course I have the UltraPod, uh, a Yulanzi STO3, a smartphone mount, and the Rode Video Micro. Uh, and then of course the affiliated patch cable and the dongle, uh, the lightning dongle that goes to that. Other than that, I have everything on me that I'm going to be showing. So first off, just kind of showing you um, the stuff that I'm going to carry, not necessarily the stuff that's in my pack. So the first and most obvious thing is my trekking poles. These are the Black Diamond Alpine Carbon Corks. Uh, these are the ones I modified a couple years ago putting the Gossamer Gear grips on. I love these things. Of course, I'll use them to hike, and of course, they will hold up my trekking pole. Um, other than that, um, I've got my Oakley Valve sunglasses and my uh, Z-Packs Head Sweats hat. This is one of the older hats that, uh, that they have, um, and I'm wearing it. I was going to wear a... Uh, an outdoor research sunrunner hat with a cape, but it's kind of uh, kind of tough to use for me, particularly with my glasses and this cable. Um, so what I'm doing is I have a microfiber towel that I can throw over my head, put my hat on, it'll cover my ears and my neck, uh, and it's just easier for me to use my sunglasses. And I'll just keep that microfiber towel in my uh, pants pocket here. And also while I got my hand in my pocket, I have a, uh, this is a storm whistle. Uh, I have a Photon Micro Light, which I just swapped the batteries out on, and I have a washer that I can get into my bear cam with, which is a Barricade Weekender. And uh, that's all I have in this side pocket over here. Um, in this other pocket, I just have a quart Ziploc bag, and all the snacks and stuff that I ate during the day, the trash will go in this bag, and then at the end of the day, I'll put the trash in a bigger bag, which is stored in my Barricade. Besides that, I'm still going with the Patagonia um, Sun Stretch long sleeve shirt. I do have the sleeves rolled up right now, um, but I am going to be wearing this shirt. Um, I'm going with the Columbia Silver Ridge pants. Uh, these are convertible pants. I've been wearing these things for a long time. I really like these pants. These are some of my favorite pants. Uh, I've got Dirty Girl Gators just to kind of help keep some of the rock and debris out of my shoes. I'm wearing a pair of Njinji uh, Crew Link uh, liner socks. 
Uh, and then I went with the Innovate Rock White 295s. And these are the breathable version. It's not the Gore-Tex version. Um, other than that, I think that's all. I don't have anything else in my pockets or anything. That's all I'm wearing. I do have my Sunto Core Ambit 3 Peak watch uh, that I'll be using. Um, this is a GPS watch, and I do plan on using it in GPS mode. So, of course, I will be carrying the uh, charge cable uh, for that as well. And I take it back. That's actually one thing I don't have in here because I still have it up to where I use it to charge my watch on occasion. Uh, but anyway, so I have that. Other than that, um, I have my backpack, which is my Z-Pax Arc Hall backpack. And uh, I'm going to take it off, and I'll show you the stuff that I'm carrying in it. Uh, first off, just to kind of show you in my pockets here to make it a little easier. Uh, in one pocket, this is just some of the snacks and stuff that I'm going to be carrying to eat with me while I'm on the trail. And some drink mixes. I am going to be drinking some of this Acclimate. I don't know if it's just all hype, uh, but I will be drinking some of that. And I even have Dimox I'll take with me and uh, use some of that. So hopefully I won't be uh, struggling the elevation, at least not overly. Uh, and then my other pocket here, uh, this is just the uh, earbuds, Apple earbuds for my phone so I can watch movies at night and listen to music. Uh, Zebralight H51 headlamp with the do-it-yourself headband. Uh, I have a pair of Outdoor Research uh, Active Ice sun gloves. I'm going to give those a try just to make sure really just so the top of my hands don't get sunburnt because I'm pretty pale. Uh, this is a Sea to Summit head net and just a little Cuban fiber stuff sack. I've got some body glide just in case I have any chafing and some unwanted areas. Um, I have just this little pump spray of Picaridin uh, for mosquitoes. Like I said, I do have a head net here I can wear and I have long sleeve shirt and pants. And um, so now I also have some bug spray, that way if there's anything uh, that's just a hot spot or if our bugs are just super bad, I can spray a little bit of this uh, on me to kind of help keep the bugs at bay. And then, uh, last thing, I have a fire permit, because you have to have a fire permit in the state of California. I have my claim check to pick up my food supply at MTR, and then when I get my permits, my permits will go in there as well. So I have all these things, just kind of easy, fast, you know, quick, easy to get to just in case I want to use them. And uh, some of this may change on the trail. This is going to be the first time I've spent this much time on the trail. So I'm, I can only go with what I'm used to. So some of my uh, arrangements may change just a little bit. Uh, of course, I do have a shoulder pocket here. And inside that shoulder pocket, I have a, a little Swiss Army Knife Classic. I love the toothpick, I love the little scissors and the knife, it's all I need, works great. I have some chapstick and I have some uh, Joshua Tree sunblock. I saw Darwin on the trail, he really gives this stuff high ratings, so I'm going to try some of that. It is a roll-on and I really plan on using it mostly on my face, my cheeks, my nose, and the tops of my ears, since my ears might be exposed. Um, other than that, I have some, uh, oh, shoot, I forget the name of the tape now, I'll put it in the description here. I have some tape, that way I can put on my feet or anything, just in case I start having hot spots, uh, just to see how that goes. Uh, of course, all that's quick access. And then everything else is going to be in my side pockets, my back pocket, and then of course inside my backpack. So let me um, take this off, get the camera set back up, and uh, I'll show you those items. Alright, so before I go digging into my pack, uh, one thing you may notice is my solar panel here. Now this is going to be a trial and experiment thing here. Um, trial and error. I'm uh, just going to see how well this works. Um, basically, this is the Sun Tactics S5 solar panel, and I do plan on carrying it on top of my pack so that during the day um, I have this cord running inside my pack through the hydration sleeve or hydration port, and it is connected to an Anchor 13,000 milliamp battery pack. And so my plan is to charge the battery pack during the day with the panel, and then at night when I get to camp, I will use the battery pack to charge my watch and my phone. Um, like I say, this is going to be a hit or miss thing, kind of figure it out. One thing I can already tell is I just have it with some cord and some mitten hooks and stuff. And when I bend over, I notice that this will kind of slide up and hit me. So this is going to be, definitely be an experimental thing. And I'm going to have to figure out what works best while I'm on the trail. Before I get into the pack, um, just go ahead and show you on the very front here. Um, this is a 1 4 inch closed cell foam pad. This is from Lawson Klein. 
Uh, of course, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't sell these anymore. Uh, but this is a full length pad. It's uh, 59 inches long, 20 inches wide. It is only a, a, not a fourth, it's an eighth inch pad. Um, but I really like this pad because it's full length. I can lay it out. I can completely lay down on top of this pad or I can keep it folded and use it as a sit pad. Um, as well as at night when I go to bed, I can use this under my, my uh, Neo Air uh, x light and it'll help protect it from anything that might be on the ground or I can use it on top if I need a little extra warmth. Although I don't think I'm gonna need it for extra warmth. Uh, but anyway, I keep this outside my pack on the bottom. Uh, it helps my pack stand up straight. If you'll notice now, I'm kind of having to hold my pack up, but it does kind of help my pack stand up and then uh, it's just easy access during the day um, whenever, whenever I need it. So um, just to start over here on the side, I'm gonna try to go through this kind of fast. Um, I'm carrying two 20 ounce Gatorade bottles. I keep one in the side pocket here and one in the top. Whenever the one in the top, I drink it, I swap them out, and then at that point I start looking for more water. Um, but this is a system I've used for a long time. I love it, it works well for me, uh, and that's what it is. Um, next, I have the rest of my water system, uh, which is gonna be a Sawyer Mini and a two liter uh, Sawyer bag. And I do have the, the string on it so I can hang it and stuff, because that's worked out well for me too. Uh, but I keep that in my side pocket so I can get to it quickly if I need to. I will say um, that I did include both another mini filter and a bag in my MTR resupply bucket just in case something's going on with this one. I can go ahead and swap that out. Um, if not, I'll just carry them. And I mean, it doesn't weigh a whole lot extra. It is a little extra weight, but it's not much and I'll just carry them with me. Um, or I could gift it if somebody needs a filter. Um, and then I do have my MLD uh, 475 milliliter mug with just a, a hiker trash koozie wrapped around it to keep myself from burning myself. And I'm, I'm carrying this because I can use it to scoop water and then at night I can also use it to drink hot tea from. Uh, that's all that's in that pocket. And this front pocket here, um, this is not gonna be in there. I just threw it in there just real quick. Uh, but this is just a Z-Packs uh, wallet. Uh, I'll put my cash and cards, credit cards, debit cards, uh, ID, insurance card, stuff like that. I'll put it in this, and I really like this because it's orange, so it makes it really easy to see in case I drop it on the ground. Uh, it's, it's, it's very noticeable, so hopefully I won't go leaving that behind. Uh, and then this is a uh, prototype um, copper-filled wind shirt from Enlighten Equipment. Um, Tim actually sent this to me about a year and a half or two years ago, and I've been using it and I, I really love this thing. It's actually made from some 7D material. Um, I, I think their regular ones are made from 10D, um, but this is the 7D material. It's really nice, full zip, all the stuff on the, the regular one. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna be my wind shirt. Um, I will be carrying Eric the Black's Pocket Atlas, um, just to kind of keep up with you know where we're at, what's surrounding us, looking at mileage or anything else we might need. I do have uh, Gut Hooks JMT, guide on my phone as well. Uh, this is my Z-Pax Hexamid Solo Plus tarp and I have a little extra rope just in case I need to tie out some rocks in case I can't get a good stake down I have extra cord to tie out to rocks. A uh, long handle REI spoon um, because I am going to be eating out of some mountain house bags on several nights so I went with my uh, trusty long handle uh, titanium spoon and I have enough stakes to stake out my tarp and the hexanet, which is inside. Uh, another note, I did add uh, two extra stakes to my MTR bucket just in case I lose one or something happens to that too. And that's all I have in my front pocket. And I go over to this side pocket, of course I've got the um, Chrome Dome umbrella. Uh, in this pocket, I was planning on, on basically walking with this thing uh, extended over my head to give me shade while I'm walking. But since I'm using my solar, I'm not going to do that. So this is actually up in the air whether or not I actually bring it. Um, at this point, I'm not 100% sure. This might be one item I leave in the car. But um, just in case. Now, uh, one system that's going to be really different for me this year, and I've never done it before, is my uh, go to the bathroom cleanup system. I'm not carrying any toilet paper. I've decided to go the uh, bivy route or the uh, bidet route. So basically what I've got is a um, 16 ounce bottle here and I have my Deuce of Spades potty trowel 
and I have some hand sanitizer and some Dr. Bronner's. And then in this, I have the actual bidet tip and I have a half of a light load towel. This is the bidet tip. Um, it's clean. Anyway, um, so basically after I get done using the bathroom, my plan is to use the, or to fill up the water bottle here with water before I go, put a couple of drops of Dr. Bronner's in there, hook up the bidet tip, and then as I'm using it, there'll be it's basically soapy water that I'll clean myself up with. And then once I get done, I'll use the light load towel just to dry things up, and then I'm done. And of course, you know, that's no brainer there. You know what that's for. Uh, so anyway, I'm looking forward to trying this system and seeing how I like it on this trail or just being out in the backcountry. I feel like I'm going to like it a lot. So, so we'll see. And that's, uh, that's everything that's in the outside of my pack. So now we'll go ahead and get to the inside. All right, so on the inside of my pack, uh, first off is going to be the other end of the wire that's hooked to solar. Um, it's, like I said, it's fed through my uh, hydration port and then it will be plugged up to my anchor battery pack. That way I can leave my battery pack in my pack because the battery pack itself is not actually waterproof. Um, so I can leave that in my backpack. I'm not worried if the solar panel gets wet because it's pretty much waterproof, um, but this is not. Um, but anyway, so there is my battery pack and then of course the cord. And then I have several things up here at the top. First off, this is my Z-Pax Virtus rain gear. Uh, I have the rain jacket and the uh, rain pants are here. Um, I'm leaving my trusty kilt behind in favor of rain pants for this hike. Let's see here. And then I have, this is my Diddy bag. I've done a couple of videos on this in the past. Um, basically, short story, long story short, uh, I have some earplugs. I have some Bonnie's Balm, which I got off of Andrew Skirka's site. Um, you can go to his site and check that out. Um, I'm going to be using that on my feet, uh, try to help my feet keep from pruning up and hopefully not getting any blisters or anything. And then I have my basic first aid kit, repair kit, um, backup water, filter, or water purifying stuff, uh, all that stuff in there. And I have it close to the top of the pack so I can get to it quickly if I need. Uh, this is just the Possum Down uh, gloves. Got those from z Packs last year. I've been wanting some of those for a long time. And then this is my z Packs Hexanet. Um, and of course it's in a Cuban fiber stuff sack. And then here's the granddaddy. My bear can. So this is just a little reflective top that I made for the bear can. Um, because the bear can is going to be pushing up against one of the, the struts for the frame on the backpack. And I didn't want this bear can to be cutting into that because it's rubbing up against a hard surface all day and actually cut through the material. So I just made this, this weighs one ounce, and it fits right over the top and it goes down far enough so that my, uh, the bear can itself will not be making contact with where this, this strut is. So I'm gonna see how this works. I think it's gonna work okay, but we'll see. Another bonus is while I'm using this as a sit stool, um, it's just a little extra padding. Now, uh, I do want to say as far as my bear can is concerned, uh, this is the Bear Cave Weekender. Uh, right now I have it loaded up with my first leg of, uh, of food. Uh, I'm going to be picking up three resupplies, so counting this, there's basically four legs. Um, this is going to be the heaviest carry that I carry. Right now there's 8.98 pounds worth of food and packaging that I have in there. That's approximately five and a half days worth of food. Uh, that comes to 1.6 pounds of food per day which in my experience is a little more than I need, but I'll just see how it goes. Um, so anyway, moving on. This is a uh, light trail pack liner. Everything else inside the pack is inside this pack liner. Keep it uh, dry just in case it rains or, or uh, anything like that. So the first thing is my Goose Feet Gear Down Anorak. Um, it is the middle of July, but I've never been in the Sierras. I do plan on having some high camp or some uh, high elevation camps. So I'm bringing a down jacket to stay warm just in case I need it. Uh, also too, I will say that Ben from Goose Feet Gear is currently making another uh, down jacket for me currently. Uh, it's actually gonna be a full zip. It's gonna use a little less down. And um, he's using some new 8D material that he's got in. So I'm going to be giving that a try. And I believe my buddy Benny is also going to have a jacket too. 
So we should both be putting those to the test on this uh, this hike coming up. Um, this is my cook kit. I do have a video on this. It's pretty much the same uh, in the video. It's a Soto Windmaster um, uh, stove and a Evernew Ultralight 0.9 uh, liter cook pot with a homemade Cuban fiber stuff sack and a uh, microfiber cloth, small one, just to kind of clean up everything when I use it. And then, this is my Z-Pax um, 20 degree sleeping bag or quilt, whatever you want to call it. It is the old one. It is not the version that they sell now. It is uh, the, the last version of what they were selling. Uh, but anyway, this is a 20 degree. It's actually the two versions ago because this is the one that uses all horizontal baffles. I really love this sleeping bag. It works out so well for me. Um, the rating is mostly accurate for me. Um, I, I just really like it. It's only 19.5 ounces. I love the color. It's fluffy. It's warm. It's nice. It fits me. I like it. Next, this is my Neo Air X Lite. This is a size large. Been using this for a couple of years. It's a great pad. Um, it's warm. Uh, it's actually hot in summer months, but I think this is going to be perfect for me uh, up in the Sierras this summer. So, uh, ain't much to say about that. It's a sleeping pad. And I do have this Thermarest uh, Camp Tech. It's, a, it's just a basically a little mini pump. That way I can plug up to my, uh, my air pad and it'll blow up my air pad about 80%. Um, this is a luxury. It's about 2.3 ounces with the included batteries, which are three lithium AAA batteries. Um, but man, it is, it is so nice to be able to just plug this up to my pad and let it blow it up while I'm getting the rest of my stuff done and then just put a couple of breaths into my sleeping pad. I really like that. It works well, and uh, this is definitely something that uh, I do not mind carrying a little extra weight for, as far as the benefits. Um, this is my Goose Feet Gear down pillow and the large Exped Ultralight uh, air pillow. Um, I've got a post on that from years ago. This has been the best pillow setup I've used on the trail. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not my pillow setup on my bed at home, but on the trail, it works really well. Uh, you can check out a previous video and uh, write up on that if you're interested in that. Um, I do have sleep clothes. I am carrying sleep clothes. Um, the biggest reason is because it's more comfortable for me to have sleep clothes. Uh, what I found is, especially if it's cool enough to warrant sleep clothes, having a long sleeve, long top, long bottom sleep clothes makes sleeping so much more comfortable for me that I really enjoy it. I get better sleep. Um, what the deal is, is I get sweaty during the day, and if I'm not able to kind of wash off before I go to bed, when I lay in the bed, my skin wants to stick to the inside of the sleeping bag. It wants to stick to my other skin. I mean, it's just, I feel grimy, nasty, and I can't really get comfortable. Uh, but long, long bottoms, long tops will actually um, help kind of alleviate that and uh, makes it a lot more comfortable for me. And this is the uh, Patagonia Lightweight Capilene Base Layer. And these are actually old Patagonia Capilene II uh, pants. Uh, but I think this shirt's only like three and a half ounces, so that's pretty wild. Um, this is just a uh, no-name buff. It's not by buff. It's just a, a, a knockoff buff I got off of Amazon or somewhere. Uh, I have a second pair of socks. These are in Gingy Trail uh, 2.0 socks. They're a little thicker than the socks I'm wearing at the moment. But that way I can alternate, alternate, you know, one pair one day, the next pair the next day. Uh, also, these are a little thicker than the other ones, so if for some reason my, my feet feel like they're swollen some and I need a little more room, I can wear the thin ones. If they are not swollen, I can wear the thick ones. So it kind of gives me a little option there. Um, this is my Black Rock Gear Down Beanie. I've had this thing, I think, since 2010 or 11 or so. I just watched it the other day. It came back to life uh, a lot better than I thought it was going to. So uh, I'll be bringing this because, like I say, I am using this. is called a sleeping bag, but it doesn't have a hood. So I'll use this on my head at night while I'm sleeping. And my Goose Feet Gear Down socks. Man, this is another thing about Goose Feet Gear I just absolutely love. These, this is actually, I bought three pairs from Ben. The first pair I bought, I gave to my son. Uh, so I bought me a second pair, which are these. And I actually went with the first time I used 50% overfill, this time I used 100% overfill because 
my toes are the worst part about getting cold and when they get cold it's almost impossible to warm up so the warmer i can keep my feet and my toes the better so i went with these uh, goose feet gear i absolutely love them my wife has a pair she absolutely loves them um, they're they're one of my favorite uh items to carry whenever it's cold enough to need them i absolutely love those things they're just awesome and uh guys that's it so anyway that's the gear that i'm going to be planning on carrying so now that i've kind of went through it i will say that my total pack weight um, according to my spreadsheet is 27.02 pounds um, my my base pack weight which is basically everything except for my food water and fuel is 14.95 pounds and my consumables is 12.07 pounds. Like I said, almost nine of that comes from my food. And then of course, uh, I think about a half a pound comes from my fuel canister and then the rest of it from the actual Gatorade bottles. But that's not bad, 27 pounds. Um, considering that, you know, I'm still got to carry garbage and stuff, I figured that I'll be carrying anywhere between 18 to 27 pounds for pretty much the most part of the trip. That's not overly heavy for sure. Um, it's not the lightest I've went, but I think that I have a good combination of things that's going to keep me safe, it's going to keep me comfortable um, in, a con in an environment, in a place that I am unfamiliar with. Um, so I, I'm very, very happy with the uh, choices I've made. I don't think that I'm too heavy, um, and I'm, I'm so looking forward to this, y'all. Uh, like I said, two weeks, I'm, I'm heading out, getting ready to go do the hike, and i um, it's just a little over two weeks that I'll be starting the hike, but because I'm going to spend a couple of days acclimating before I actually start the hike, but uh, I really can't wait. So anyway, guys, this is the gear that I'm bringing. This is the clothes that I'm wearing. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you have any comments or questions, just post them below, and I'll get back to you reply to any questions or, or uh, comments and answering questions. And as usual, I uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll see you on the trail in the Sierra.